Y'all, I haven't had a coffee in about a month. Cheers. Hey everyone, it's me Christine. Welcome back to my channel. I've recently been feeling, and what I mean by recently is about two days ago, a, bit, a day ago, yesterday, I started feeling really disappointed in myself. I'm not very hard on myself day to day, but when I'm hard on myself, I beat myself up. First it started with like a random frustration, then I was like, oh, you're just, you're not pretty enough. You don't have a good personality. Ugh. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Ugh. What the frick are you doing with your life? That kind of stuff. If you're a creative, in my opinion, a creative could literally be anything. Whether you're like me and you love making videos, or you're an artist, or you're a painter. If you want to find the cure to cancer, I think you're a form of creative. First and foremost, to umbrella all this, if you know what you want to do, do it. It's really hard for me to say because like I just said, yesterday, I was questioning, I was doubting, I was like, what am I doing? Ah! You know? And I know you know, I know you freaking know. I was looking at my channel and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm consistent-ish. I'm trying new things-ish. I am doing what I love for sure, but I still have goals and I'm far from those goals. And sometimes it can just get discouraging. So for y'all that are also out there that are creatives, this definitely pertains more toward the stereotypical artistic side. What makes your work? spectacular. Talk about YouTubers for a second. The top, top, top of the top, they're all spectacular in their own way. Think about it. James Charles, you know, you know his stuff is spectacular. I don't even watch all his videos and I know for a fact. Logan Paul, although he's made mistakes, although he may be a little cringy at times, you know that what he's doing is spectacular stuff. Alicia Marie. I bet a lot of us, when we were like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, started watching Alicia Marie. Mr. Beast. I literally have never watched a Mr. Beast video in my life because it's just not really my thing, but I, you can just tell his stuff is spectacular. Even the small people that made one video and blew them up. For example, Kai Foster. She was a relatively small channel, and then she posted one high school vlog popped off. Her stuff is her own. We all see the top, top of the top, but for all, whether you're a small YouTuber, a small artist, a small, eager music producer, whatever you are, <laughs> what makes your stuff, your work, what makes you spectacular? If you're a small YouTuber and you're basing your content over your life, for example, you're a college YouTuber, you're a post-grad YouTuber, family YouTuber, whatever, what makes you so what makes you so spectac- what makes- what makes you so six bleh, What makes you so spectacular? Because there are so many people that are just vlogging their lives. There are so many people that are just sharing their lives. What makes you so spectacular? This question is not here to degrade you. When that question first hit me like a freaking bucket of bricks, I was like, ooh. Ego kind of hurt, ego kind of hurt. But no, this isn't here to affect your ego, this isn't here to hurt your ego. This is here that if you're genuine and you're serious and you're eager and you're determined, this is the type of question that will not bring you down. I was looking at my channel and I said, girl, to be fair, you're kind of boring. You're not really bringing anything to the table. I do love my fitness videos, so I'm happy with that. Personal favorite video that I love to make are my chit chat advice mindset videos. Everything else, I was like, you're boring. And once again, hurt my ego a little bit, ouch. But the facts are the facts, reality's reality. If you are a struggling yet determined creative, don't be upset if you realize I'm kinda boring. Don't be upset if you realize my content is kinda just blending into the crowd. Don't let that get you down. Every single person on this planet Earth is so special, so unique, you don't need to hear it again. You cannot expect the world to just like you. It's kinda sad. But it's facts. <laughs> find what's so spectacular about you, and not in a ego-boosting way, but find the little things. It could be so, it could be so small, and start implementing that into your work. I feel so, I feel like I need a burp. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I bet y'all know it. To be a creative and not have a creative community around you. That's where YouTube has really played a major role in encouraging me. Recently, I've been looking out searching for smaller YouTubers, watching their videos, 
commenting on their videos. Something that I really want to do. I think it'd be so much fun and just something different, something new, something that I haven't done before. I really want to collab. So if you also make videos and you check out my channel and you're like, oh yeah, we kind of make similar stuff, we kind of have similar vibes, I think it would be really fun to collab. Let me know in the comments or direct message me on Instagram so I know that you're like for sure, for sure and not just like, let's collab, blah, 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 you know? I want to collab and I want to make collaborative videos and I want to build a community. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said for the hundredth time, my favorite videos are these chit chat little videos. So if you have any discussion topics, advice questions, chit chat little things, random things, let me know in the comments. Check out the Instagram and if you're interested, go ahead and give it a follow at it's underscore time underscore y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will forever appreciate you so, so much. Love you so much. Join the time, subscribe. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs>